Hey, J Spotters. Yo, man, how you doing, dude? So, guys, we're back at CH Loiso Garage, and it's time for the second stage of the build series. We took off the gearbox in the last episode and clutch, pressure plate and flywheel and now it's time to clean everything, make sure all the parts are okay and nothing is broken and then refit the gearbox, put the main crank seal on and make sure this car never leaks oil again from the rear of the car. After that we've got some slight modifications that I want to do to the car since it's here and then yeah let's see where it ends up. Inside the gearbox and look how clean it is. It's back to silver compared to the other side, which is completely utterly black. And he's even cleaned the inside. Not bad from our friend Mr. Nicolas Dimitris. Oiling up the bearing. Doing a bit of blue. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. Look. Bit of lube on the pivot. There we go, the bearing is on, the fork is on, the safety clip is on, everything's working. I'm not gonna do it in case I break it. And now we need to put the gearbox on. Now we need to take this out. Christo's gonna get his screwdrivers and do it, because I don't know what I'm doing. Spotters, the crank seal is out. We're gonna clean up this area and then put in the new one, which is right there. Nothing a hammer doesn't fix. The favorite tools of this car is a hammer, a lever, and zip ties, and maybe an angle grinder. Very nice indeed. Put on the plate and now the flywheel. We put some screws on with some Loctite and then the clutch and clutch plate, which is fine. It's fine for You might see a lot of things that you're like, ah, that's not the way to do it. This is the rat trap. We do it the budget way, the quick way, so we can go drifting faster. So the gearbox in, we've screwed in all the screws around the gearbox, we've put the little pump for the clutch as well, the bridge is in as well, the drive shaft needs to go to a machine shop to get one of the screws out because one of them broke inside, and then we need to change all the oils and get this thing running. We also need to put the main drive shaft bearing in as well, we've ordered a new one because the old one is completely shot. 
have Andreas here fitting the main drive shaft with the bearing in the middle. We let the professionals do the work where I'm actually petrified of putting stuff on in case it falls off while I'm going sideways. the main uh, drive shaft bearing it was completely shot you'll see a shot in a previous video that I did the other day now this is in and it's really solid it's not moving anywhere let's see if there's any oil in this thing oh yeah there is oil in there not very much but uh, he's got a vacuum pump down there and he's gonna pump it into the gearbox You can see guys but up here is the bung that you take out so that you can fill up the oil for the gearbox it filled up it's leaked down the side which indicates that it's full and now we're gonna put the bang back in and wipe up the gearbox since it was nice and clean before that's the water out of the car the oil out of the engine gearbox full of oil uh, differential full of oil oil in the engine Antifreeze in the radiator. We're going to give it the radiator a flush to get all these metal plates out of the out of the uh, radiator pipe. Sorry. There you go, guys. You can see. I don't know if you can see inside the uh, radiator hose, but it is minging. So Andreas is making a bracket for the oil catch tank. Some professional jobs happening on the rat trap. The rat trap's thinking, what the hell is happening? Day two here at CH Loiso Garage. We finished the car almost. We have not finished the car, that is a huge lie. We've done numerous jobs, changed oil, made a new intercooler layout here with new clips, changed oil in the engine, changed the water in the radiator, changed the main bearing on the drive shaft. It's gonna be sick, I can't wait to be going sideways. <laughs> the next day we have to do these jobs here I have also bought some spray paint because this car will become that color this car and the problems what does this car decide nah, I'm a shit oil all over the garage and we don't know why so we need to take off the gearbox again a few moments later over here we have the main crank seal of the rear of the car so we're like maybe the crank seal didn't sit in its place properly and we've realized that it's this whoops it's this little rubber section that fits here underneath it hasn't been changed since basically since the car left the factory in japan so we need to see if they have this piece at the parts store and they have the um Juvaz, the gasket I think it's in English. I don't know what it what the real name is. But we need one of these, we need one of these, and we need a lot of silicone. And now we need to clean. Go Andres with his levita cleaning everything there. And now we need to see if we can order these pads. 